Hi all, here's a quick tutorial on how you can use JavaScript uh, with Grafana or JavaScript in Grafana. So we'll be building something uh, similar to this. It's basically an accordion panel, uh, an accordion HTML JavaScript panel. Uh, and for this to work, you are going to need two external plugins here. One is a static data source plugin. So this lets you add uh, static data onto Grafana. Uh, so this is great for prototyping or for initial development development before you have an actual database in place. So eventually you can replace the static panel with, with like an influx uh, DB data source or uh, MySQL data source. So this is what I'm using as a data source. And the next plugin I'm using is called dynamic text. So this lets you add JavaScript, HTML, CSS, onto Grafana itself. And both of these plugins are uh, by Volkov Labs. Uh, these guys are great. They have some very useful plugins that can turn Grafana into a full-fledged web application. So you can use uh, uh, forms, you can use JavaScript, which is what we are doing here. They have one for Apache eCharts. Uh, I'll add the links to these plugins, the documentation and everything in the description below. I'll also share the JSON file uh, that you can import into Grafana panel to replicate uh, to replicate this, this setup. Uh, so just make sure you have the two plugins installed uh, before you import the uh, JSON uh, in, in a panel. The reference to this uh, accordion plugin is essentially a W3Schools tutorial. So what I did was I just uh, found one uh, a basic ac accordion uh, in WC schools. So I'm trying to mimic this whole thing on, on, on Grafana. Uh, so it already has uh, some CSS, it has HTML, and it has some JavaScript, right? And this is what it does. Now, if I look in the plugin, so I have a static data source, and I'm defining static data source as a table and it has few fields and values. So we have name, date of birth, location, phone, and the values assigned to each of these uh, columns. So without the plugin, the data kind of looks like a simple table. So if, you, if you're using an actual data source like an influx or using an API, uh, so this is essentially how your data will look uh, uh, straight from the data source. Now on the plugin side, I have styles enabled, I have JavaScript enabled, and instead, instead of Markdown, I'm using HTML. So basically the code that W3Schools provides uh, for the code accordion class, uh, sorry, the accordion panel, I'm using the same thing right here with few modifications. But I'm also, uh, but because we have multiple columns in our table, uh, we want to loop through uh, each column. So that's why we are doing each data. The data is uh, the data from our data source. So once this, each data goes into the div, then it can pick up the name, the date of birth, the location, the phone from that data source. And I'm essentially making an HTML form where the heading of the accordion is the name, which is right here uh, in the table. And then in the in the actual panel, let's say when, when you click on it, the uh, we get three, uh, sorry, four uh, columns, date of birth, location, and phone. I'm essentially looping through my data and picking up each row one by one. So first I get date of birth, I get a location, phone, and also I have a, I have a image uh, for sending an email out. So if you click on the contact, uh, mail uh, icon, it should essentially open a email, your email editor with the provided email address. Similarly for the JavaScript code, uh, this is basically the accordion JavaScript code from W3Schools and the CSS uh, style. I've made some changes uh, to make it, to make this uh, accordion look uh, good on Grafana just to align it with Grafana theme. Uh, so I'm, made some changes in the colors. Uh, but yeah, this is how it looks 
Uh, so we have the name on the accordion header and inside the panel, we have date of birth, location, phone and contact, which is basically an icon uh, with a link. So I hope this helps. Uh, it's, it's a pretty uh, simple plugin. Uh, so essentially you can have uh, like Grafana or this dynamic text panel to do uh, other things as well. Anything that uses JavaScript, HTML, CSS, you can uh, idly do it on Grafana itself. As I mentioned before, uh, link to download the plugin and the documentation is in the description below. Uh, it also has a link for the source code, so you can essentially import this plugin into your own uh, Grafana uh, dashboard. I hope this helped. Uh, feel free to comment if you have any questions and make sure to subscribe for more Grafana uh, JavaScript, Node-RED related tutorials. Yeah, thank you.